What is going on YouTube world? It is Blake Morrison coming at you. I was supposed to drop this video yesterday, but we're gonna drop it today. I'm going to go get my haircut right now by one of my clients. His name's John, great story. I cannot wait to see him. I got my coconut water, staying hydrated. And we're gonna go uh, talk about real estate today. And we're gonna talk about how to get your license. And what are the steps you need to take? What are the credentials? All of that jazz. Stay tuned. It's going to be a great video. Watch it all the way to the end. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to see what you guys have in mind. If you have any ideas of what you want me to do, etc. Anyway, I will see you guys in a bit. And I just realized my coconut water does not fit in the cup holder. But lucky for Mercedes, look at that. Boom, take it out. Bam, slap it in there, all good. All right, so we are all done the haircut. My boy John absolutely killed it. Guys, it's been like three years since I've been at a barber. Usually uh, my girlfriend, she cuts it, uh, but she asked me to go to a barber this time. Turns out he was my client. Uh, absolutely amazing client, loved working with him. I'm actually gonna link his uh, Instagram page down below in the description. Go give him a follow. Go show him some love, check out his work, and check out his story. His story is even better. Um, I'm actually gonna leave that for him to tell, and I'm actually thinking about bringing him on the channel um, and doing like an interview with him and have him tell his story of how he completely flipped his life around a whole 180. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we're gonna head back now, and we're gonna talk about how to get your real estate license, what the credentials are, and what to expect, uh, and the different steps to take to get your real estate license and become a real estate agent. So stay tuned. All right, so we're back and here is why real estate is the best career I feel everybody should get into. First reason being is your income. You can make as much money as you wanna make. You can also make as little as you wanna make. It just depends on how much you're working, what your schedule's like, with your clients, now your schedule is going to adjust according to you know your client schedule. So you're gonna have clients that wanna see property super early, you're gonna have clients that wanna see property super late. Now, that leads me into the second reason is the controlling of your own schedule. You make your own schedule to a certain point. Now, obviously, when you have clients that wanna see property sporadically throughout the day, your schedule is now revolving around theirs. So to a point, you're kind of working around your clients, but you're also kind of not. You can control how you structure your day. That leads me into the third reason why I absolutely love real estate is I love looking at houses. I get to see some incredible properties. I get to see properties from, you know, 50,000 that are, you know, run down, need a lot of work. But I also get to see properties that are upwards of like three, four million dollars. It is absolutely incredible the properties that I get to see and the opportunities I've been given to see these properties being a real estate agent. Now I get this question a lot is Blake, how do I get my real estate license? So there are really only two requirements to get your real estate license. First, you must be 18 years old. Second is you have to have a high school diploma or a GED. So the barrier to entry is pretty low. So now that you've met those requirements of being 18 and having a high school diploma or a GED, now it is time for you to go look for schools. Now they have online classes. They also have in-person classes. Now due to the pandemic, I'm not really sure how they're doing that right now. I did mine in person because I learned better in person, but now I would recommend doing it online because you can go at your own pace and you can take your time with it and really absorb all the information. So you chose the school that you want to go with. Now you have to enroll in the classes. So the two classes you're going to enroll in is real estate fundamentals and real estate practice. Both courses are going to add up to about 75 hours of education. Now, I did mine when it was 60, and that was three years ago, and I also did mine in person, so I'm not really sure how that is. Um, but now the requirements are 75 hours. So those two courses, you're going to split those in half, and that's how much time you're going to spend on each course. All right, so we decided to move outside. It's beautiful out. It's a little windy, so I apologize for the wind in advance. But now that you're done your 75 hours, you're going to take your school exams. So you're gonna take an exam for real estate fundamentals and you're gonna take an exam for real estate practice. So once you pass both exams, I believe a passing grade is a 70 or a 75, don't quote me on it. It's been a little while since I've taken it, but uh, I believe it's a 70 or 75 around that range. Now, once you pass that, the school is going to now give you your transcript. Once you get that transcript, now you're either going to mail it or you're gonna email it to a company called PSI. That is at least the company that I had to use uh, to schedule my state and national exams. 
So basically your state and national exam, your state exam is gonna be the laws depending on which state you live in. Your national exam is going to be the general basis of real estate, like the general principles, depending on, you know, it doesn't matter what state it's in. So now that you're about to take your state and national exams, and once you pass those state and national exams, cause you are gonna pass, once you pass those exams, now it's time to pick a brokerage. So there are many different brokerages that you can choose from. I chose Keller Williams just because I believe that their training model and what I was looking for when I got into real estate was a lot of training, which is what you're going to need when you get into real estate. Now, there are some companies, you know, that they don't offer as much training and I'm not knocking any other companies at all. I don't really know because I haven't worked for any other companies but Keller Williams. I love Keller Williams. They have a great training course and that's why I chose them personally. Now, I've heard from other friends that have joined other brokerages and other acquaintances that I've met throughout the years that each brokerage is a little bit different. Now, each brokerage is run by different people. Um, now, Keller Williams, each office is independently owned and operated, so each one is going to be a little bit different. Um, now, when it comes to choosing the right brokerage, you're going to have, you know, commission splits. You're going to have caps, stuff like that. So, at Keller Williams, it's usually a 70-30 split. Some are 60-40 and some are 50-50 splits. Now to talk about splits a little bit, for example, Keller Williams is a 70-30 split. So I keep 70% of my commission and they take 30% of that commission. So other offices are operated you know, between a 50-50 or a 60-40, some are 80-20. It depends on what office you're joining. Now Keller Williams, they also have a thing called a cap. Most offices do. So a cap is basically saying, you know, they're going to take a certain amount of that 30% until it equals 26,000 to the office. For example, that is my office cap is around 26,000. Once I give them 26,000 of that 30% total, I now make 100% of my commission the rest of the year, which is fantastic. When you're looking at other offices, others are going to have, you know, office fees, you're going to have onboarding fees. It all depends on what office you go to. Now, when, it's cho when you're choosing an office, I feel it's important when you're a beginner agent to find an office that offers you the most amount of training as possible. Now, if they don't offer a lot of training, try to find an agent that you can be their mentee. Become their assistant. Learn from them. Find a mentor in the business that's been in the business for a while that knows what they're doing that can help you in the business and help you grow. So now that you've chosen a brokerage, congratulations, you've taken the biggest step. So now you're going to hang your license at that brokerage. So it's called hanging your license. You don't personally get to keep your, you know, your real estate license. You have to give the office your license and they will hang it for you. It's not literally hanging on a wall. It's just they keep it on file in the office at all times. So you've chosen a brokerage, you got your real estate license, now it's time to get to work. So it's very important when you're first starting is to enroll in as many training classes as you possibly can or find a mentor that can teach you the basics of the industry and teach you the ways on how to be a real estate agent. So I feel when you're first starting, training is the most important thing because you're gonna need it. There's a lot of paperwork that's gonna be involved. There's a lot of you know different things about the paperwork that you need to learn about, how to negotiate, how to price a property, how to run comps, all of that stuff you're gonna learn once you start working as a real estate agent. Now, when I first started as a real estate agent, I decided to join a team. I joined, you know, I found the best agent I possibly could, and I worked with her for a little while, and she taught me a lot about the business. She taught me different tricks, different strategies, different things about the business that I needed to know. And I feel that all of you guys, when you get into the business, you guys are going to need somebody like that. You're going to need some kind of training to help you along the way. Now, real estate, it can be the most rewarding career. It can also be a career that you get out of very quickly because real estate, if you're thinking about getting into it, there's a very important statistic to keep in mind is real estate has a very high dropout rate because as soon as you get your license, a lot of people think that the phone's going to pick up and you know, you're just going to start doing deals right away, but that's not the case. So I'll be the first one to tell you that's not the case. You have to get on the phone and tell people that you are in the real estate business. That is so important. That goes for any business, really. If you're in any kind of business, you need to start shouting it from the mountaintops, especially as a real estate agent. There's a lot of us out there and there's a lot of competition. You just have to figure out how to set yourself apart. 
So guys, that is about the end of the video. Those are the basics on how to get your real estate license and what the steps are and what the requirements are to get a real estate license and become a real estate agent to sell houses. Now, when you get that license, you can sell commercial, you can sell residential, the sky is the limit. Whatever you guys wanna do, find your niche and find a brokerage that is in your local market that you want to sell. So without further ado, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. I'll be dropping another video coming up either Wednesday or Friday, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any suggestions or have any ideas that you want me to talk, talk about in another video, just let me know, and I will make those videos, and I will respond to all of your guys' comments. So without further ado, guys, have a great rest of your week. And I wish you guys all nothing but the best. And one more thing, guys, if you're a new agent or if you're looking for just a great book to read, pick up The Millionaire Real Estate Agent by Gary Keller. I read this book twice already. It's a great book. It taught me a lot. It's basically going to give you a little bit of a blueprint on what to do as a real estate agent. So have a great rest of your week and go pick up this book, guys.